hello students uh, specially uh, this lesson is done for the students who uh, learn in grade 7 uh, the lesson is fractions this is the first lesson uh, to be uh, learned is to be learned in the second term fractions uh, last year we have learned uh, uh, unit fractions uh, as well as uh, real fractions all proper fractions uh, we have learned about uh, those fractions about those eight fractions we have learned last uh, year what is this what is this fraction unit fraction a unit fraction this one a unit fraction uh, you know this is the digit which is having in the denominator this is the digit which is having in the numerator so uh, if the digit is having in the denominator or numerator especially numerator is one you could see here one here one here one one over hundred these are you know about it unit fractions what is this one 3 over 7 these are unit fractions unit fractions these are unit fractions these are proper fractions proper fractions proper fractions proper fraction what is a proper fraction if the digit that is having in the denominator that means this one this is denominator this is numerator the digit which is having in the denominator is 7 the digit which is having in the numerator is 3 if the digit you could see the digit 7 is greater than 7 is greater than 3 7 is greater than 3 so 3 over 7 is uh, considered as a proper fraction you think of this one so if the digit in when it is considered a certain fraction if the digit which is having in the denominator is greater than the digit which is having in the numerator so you could see here 7 is greater than uh, 3 so here is a proper fraction how about this one 11 over 12 here is a proper fraction cannot we take 1 over 4 as a proper fraction we can take 1 over 7 1 over 4 as a uh, proper fraction but learn this according to the previous segment you, you could see here actually uh, 1 fourth can be considered as a unit fraction as well as a proper fraction okay so those are the learned uh, uh, types of fractions last year in this year we learn about we learn about we learn about uh, improper fractions improper fractions improper fractions improper fractions proper fractions what are improper fractions improper fractions improper fractions improper fractions uh, uh, these are improper fractions 3 over 5 is an improper fraction 4 over 4 over 3 is an improper fraction if the digit uh, which is having in the you you think of this one is this an improper fraction is this an improper fraction what is this fraction no 3 over 5 is not an improper fraction what is the improper fraction 4 over 3 is considered as an improper fraction the reason 
3 is less than 4. Here, 5 is greater than 3. Here is a proper fraction. 3 over 5 is a proper fraction. But 4 over 3 is an improper fraction. In, an improper fraction means a fraction, uh, you could see the digit that is in the in the denominator is less than the digit which is having in the uh, numerator. So here is an improper fraction. How about this one? 11 over 2. 11 over 2. Is that an improper fraction? Yes. How about this one? 13 over 12. Is this an improper fraction? Yes. 12 over 13. Is this an improper fraction? No. What is the reason for that? 13 is greater than 12. Therefore, uh, this is a proper passion. You know about it. So, but 13 over 12 is an improper fraction. So, a fraction, in a fraction, in a certain fraction, if the digit that is in the denominator is less than the digit that is in the numerator, then that is a fraction, that is an improper fraction. So, in the other segment, now we have understood that what is an improper fraction. Think of this one, 3 over 4, 5 over 7, 6 over 9, 9 over 6. Underline, underline the uh, improper fractions. What are the improper fractions? Think of it, can we take as an improper fraction? Can we take, can we take uh, 3 over 4 as an improper fraction? No, we can't take. This is a proper fraction. Can we take uh, 5 over 7 as an improper fraction? No. This is a proper fraction. Can we take uh, 6 over 9 is an improper fraction? No. Here is a proper fraction. Can we take 9 over 6 as an improper fraction? Yes. Really yes. Okay. You can do the exercises that are given in your textbook. This is the first part of fractions. Now you know about improper fractions. We are going to convert improper fractions, improper fractions, convert improper fractions into into mixed numbers, mixed numbers, mixed not mix fraction, mixed fractions, mixed numbers, mixed numbers. You know, three over five is an improper fraction. How can you convert this uh, uh, fraction into a mixed number? You tell me. How can you uh, how can you convert this fraction? into a mixed number. You tell me. We can do that. Here is an improper fraction. Let's convert this into a mixed number. Mixed number. Is this an improper fraction? Is this an improper fraction? No. This is not an improper fraction. This is a proper fraction. To be, to, to, we, we can write 5 over 3, we can take 5 over 3. This is a, this is an improper fraction. Let's uh, convert this, this uh, fraction into a mixed number. Here it is considered that how many 3 times, how many 3 times are in uh, 5? In 5, you imagine, in 5, how many 3 times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In 5, you know that how many 3 times? 1. What is the remainder? 
2. So in 5, actually in 5, there are how many 3 terms? 1. What is the remainder? 2. Let's divide this. Uh, okay. 